Welcome to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. What are we doing today? Today, we're going to share with you seven holiday budget busters. All right, let's get to it. These are all things that could cause you to go over budget if you're not thinking about them. And the first thing is this, uh, not budgeting at all. Um, we set a budget every every year for uh, for gifts, uh, especially for the holidays. We, we we do a singing fund for that, and we set it up, and we, we try to stay within those parameters. And if you're not setting a budget, then no telling what you, you're going to wind up in January and say, how much did I spend, and why did I spend that much? Mm -hmm. And the second thing that you may be forgetting about is you're forgetting to budget for other people, for example, co-workers. So a lot of times when we, uh, or at least we found that we used to, when we would think about how much money we needed for Christmas, we would think about how much we were going to spend on our kids. Not anybody else. Maybe we might include family members that we were going to buy gifts for, but we wouldn't think about whether or not we were going to buy anything for our coworkers or anything like that. And sometimes that would cause us to go over budget. Um, and also we will down in the description, put a video that we, uh, series that we've done two years in a row where we show edible gifts. Those are great for coworkers and keeps your expenses lower, but forgetting about them when you make your budget may cause you to go over budget in the end. All right. Number three, the third, uh, holiday budget buster is, uh, forgetting to budget for travel expenses. Now, if you're like us, you have to travel. Uh, for holidays if you're going to go see your family and not budgeting for travel expenses will cause you to go over budget on your uh, holiday budget. That's right. So remember those plane tickets the, yep. or gas for your car, um, food expense on the road to get there, yep. all that. The travel expenses to get to grandma's house. Number four is you're forgetting about entertainment. Now, <laughs> what? Well, like you might have some traditions in your family to go out and do things that cost money as a family for bonding and memory making and stuff like that. Um, and first of all, we want to remind you that you can Google free and cheap things to do in your area for the holidays and you'll get websites that will actually show you the cheap and free things that you can do. A lot of things will be like Christmas tree lighting ceremonies or Christmas parades, things like that. And they're great ways to make memories. But if you have a tradition that costs money, forgetting to put it in your budget is going to cause you to go over. So don't forget about that when you make your Christmas budget. All right, number five is forgetting to budget for family pictures and matching PJs. Um, that's something we've never done, never uh, done. but I know a lot of people do. And, uh, if you hire a, a professional photographer for that, that's going to be, that's going to cost a little bit of money. So make sure you're adding these memory makers as far as, uh, family pictures, you know, imagine PJs, things like that, Santa Claus pictures for your kids, uh, make sure you're adding those into your budget as well. Six, you are forgetting about Christmas decorations. And by the way, this falls under any category, Thanksgiving or Halloween or any other holiday, forgetting about the decorations that you may be planning on purchasing and not including that in your budget might cause you to go over budget. Now, yes, you can go to stores that may have, um, you know, uh, cheaper, I mean, and cheaper prices uh, type stores like Dollar Tree or Dollar Stores to find the decorations and that's great but still if you didn't put it in your budget to spend anything at all you're still going over your budget if you don't remember so remember if you go out for halloween decorations thanksgiving decorations or christmas decorations to include that in your budget all right and then the number seven holiday budget buster is uh, forgetting to budget for extra food now we all know what our grocery budgets are for the month. But when you get to November, in November, into December, you're going to have to budget extra for right. things like turkeys and dressing and uh, pies and cakes and cookies. And all those things you want to make for that day, make sure that you're budgeting for that so you don't max out your grocery budget. That's right. Uh, we have included in the past some videos, again, that we have done that has some tips for saving money during the holidays as far as buying gifts and stuff like that. We will link them down in the description. 
so that you can get those tips. Uh, they are still relevant today. A lot of them are browser extensions that you can use that will help you save some money and some, get some discounts. Uh, we are not sponsored by any of them, but we do have some of them down in the description here as well. But that video will explain more about how they can help you. Yeah, basically we're not, uh, we don't want to just think about gifts during the holidays. Uh, we want to think about all the, the things that kind of round that out. Uh, and so we hope these uh, seven budget busters have, uh, have helped you out on that. If you haven't started saving up for Thanksgiving and Christmas yet, go ahead and get started today. It's never too late uh, to start doing that. Uh, make a budget and don't forget about those holiday uh, budget busters. So drop us a comment below and let us know what your favorite budget busters are, the things that you found uh, that have busted your budget, budgets over the years. Uh, we'd love to hear that in the comments below. That's right. And, you, you um, may tell us something we didn't even think about. Tell us something about. we didn't even think about. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, drop us those comments uh, there in the comment section below. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. You just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. But with that said, that's going to do it today for The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.